What's up you guys, it's Henry. I was at the gym and I got a notification from a friend that Tesla is having a stock split and I nearly dropped the dumbbells on my feet. I'm a big Tesla shareholder and we need to have a discussion what this means for the stock. I'm going to analyze the technicals and tell you exactly what to watch out for tomorrow come market open. We just saw this with Apple, which I made a video on and it turned out to be very right about buying it due to investor sentiment and behavior. Well, let's take a look at the after hours price right now and get an idea. Wow. Now, as you can see, we have a 6.5% pop upwards after hours, and that is about $1,465 per share. So you guys probably know by now that the stock market is based on investor behavior and sentiment, and oh boy, is it strong for this one. Let's see what actually changes to justify the Tesla price moves and how much it could be tomorrow. So number one, a stock split doesn't affect the fundamentals of the business in any way at all. It does not create value for the company. However, let me tell you why the stock is up and how Tesla just created value out of thin air. So humans like round numbers. What would you like more? 97.57 shares of Tesla or a round 100 shares of Tesla? Let me read your mind. You would like 100 shares. <laughs> That's because working with rounded numbers feels better for humans, kind of like watching a bunch of cat videos on YouTube. Well, with the stock price splitting, it will allow retail investors to buy 100 shares more easily. What do I mean? Well, since Tesla is $1,400 a share, buying 100 shares would be about $140,000. But with the stock split, which by the way is happening on August 31st, meaning on August 31st, if you have one share, it will now become five shares. So the price of Tesla, if all things stay the same, will be about $280 per share. Now buying 100 shares is only $28,000, which is much, much more affordable for investors. So when things become more affordable, investors purchase more of it and drive the price higher. So that's exactly why after hours, hedge funds and institutions are bidding higher for the stock because they know retail investors are going to go crazy tomorrow. So what should you do? Well, aside from me not being a financial advisor, I personally am super bullish. I'm not going to buy because I literally just did live in my last video and I now have 125 shares. So this is pretty good news for me, but I did something really stupid. Do you guys want to learn from my mistake? Me being loose and actually trading some options, I collected a premium by selling a 1430 call for this Friday. And all that means is I collected some money, but I can't make a dollar past 1430 per share. So tomorrow I will close that position and lose thousands of dollars. But that's only happening because I don't want to lose my stock. Since I own over 100 shares, it's not a complete loss as I still benefit just not as much if I didn't have that short call option position open. Okay, enough about options and let's discuss what the price may go up to tomorrow. Taking a look at Apple, they not only popped after hours, but they continued rising another 7% a few days in a, actually a week after the first announcement. They went up nearly as much as they did during after hours movement on that announcement day. So let's say that same thing can happen for Tesla. So I'm going to take the after hours price of 1465 and multiply that by 107%, or you can just look at it as I'm adding 7% on top of the current price after hours. And that gets us to a total price of 1567 per share. So that is the price that I expect Tesla to be during the next week of trading. Pretty crazy to think that the stock is going up just because it is more affordable per share, but it is not more valuable per share. It does make sense to me though, and I actually kind of look at it this way, that the market is kind of crazy and there's a lot of chaos going on right now. So that is why the price is going higher because a lot of people are gonna think that the value is higher, <laughs> if that makes sense. The value is higher. But hey, if you look at the business, it is a very solid business. So long term, my views on Tesla have not changed. But from a trading perspective, they have gotten better for a short term upswing. I think there is more money to be made by seeing what the momentum will be like in the morning and actually making a definitive answer from there. I certainly will be looking at it for the first hour of trading and I will then be notifying my Patreon page what I think I'll be doing and what I'll be doing with my options contract. It also really feels satisfying to think my 125 shares is going to be 600 shares. Either way, this is a positive news statement and it's interesting how Apple and Tesla both have a stock split so close together in terms of timing. It makes me kind of wonder if maybe Amazon will fall in the footsteps and Jeff Bezos will do the same thing as Tim Cook and Elon Musk just did to their stocks. I guess we will have to see what happens and uh, 
who knows? I think Elon Musk is doing a very strong move here because he wants to increase the value of Tesla. And this is one of the easiest ways to increase the value of stock. I do guess that we will have to see what happens from this point on. I really do appreciate it if you made it this far in the video. I know I made this video very quickly, so there's a lot less editing and I'm kind of talking quickly because I just want this video out there so I can help as many people decide what they're gonna do tomorrow with their stock if they own Tesla and if they don't own Tesla, what they might wanna do uh, to own Tesla and if it's a good price point to kind of get in at which is basically going to be 1465 come 9 30 a.m but that could definitely change and i can probably see the stock even going up to 1500 in the first few minutes of trading if the market really goes kind of crazy and similar to what actually happened to apple it did really skyrocket at first i think because a lot of retail investors were going nuts but then it did kind of come back to reality and we're only up i think about seven percent from the stock announcement for apple news so I think something very similar will happen to Tesla. It's gonna be astronomically high in the morning and it's gonna be pretty painful for me to buy back that option contract, but we'll see what happens. Um, you know what the deal is though, right? Be sure to be safe when it comes to investing. There is no point of burning your hard earned money based on some kind of you know, rumors or some kind of really big news. Yes, it is a big deal, but there's no need that you have to actually jump into the stock without doing any research. And there's just no point of that. Make sure that you are being safe when it comes to investing. And uh, make sure you are being aggressive when it comes to learning. All right, guys, I'll see you very soon.